welcome to Hope for Tomorrow's Fashion and Fizz event. It's an exciting and new style event for us because we've gone virtual. Although I am a little sad that I can't say hello and welcome to you all in person. 2020 has been a challenging year with lots of twists and turns. I wanted to take this opportunity to say, stay safe everybody. We have had to change our plans for this event for safety reasons but I'm sure it's going to be an amazing event anyway. I can say that because I'm at the Baden Hall Hotel in Gloucester filming today and I've seen the models, I've seen the clothes, I've seen the handbags and I'm really tempted. In fact, there may be nothing left for you. This year has been unprecedented for the charity. We have been inundated by requests from NHS trusts asking for our mobile cancer care units. We have helped where we can and we have supported many new NHS trusts. However, we could not do as much as we wanted to. For many, our mobile cancer care units have been a lifeline. Patients receive their care in a safe and convenient locality. We can only do this with your kindness, generosity and support. It costs £198 per day to keep our wheels turning on each of our units. However, as little as £3 pays for a patient to have their blood treatment on board. I just wanted to say, have a wonderful evening everyone. I hope you have a glass of fizz in hand. I've got water, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Enjoy and cheers. Michelle and this is my lovely model Jane. I think really this season is all about the dress and whether that dress is in two pieces as this is um, and you can really make lots of uses out of this so we want to make sure that we get maximum wear out of everything that we buy so it's not how much you spend but it's how many times you wear it and we're going to show you just how you do that. suddenly start to be really great for like a, a winter event like it could be the races or it could be a winter wedding um, just by adding a little fur cuff and a nice fur stole there it brings out the grey in this almost sort of camouflage looking print and another way of doing it would bring out the brown so depending on what colour boots you have or what sort of things you've got left at home a leather jacket would give it a completely different look again but maybe for those sort of more formal events in your life consider a dress being worn in this way. <laughs> a beautiful dress a mock croc sort of design um, it's got this sort of fluid sort of feel to it super comfy I should imagine oh, I mean, it, lovely. it looks lovely the waistline's nice and easy as well isn't it you can yeah. loosen this a little bit more or you can actually bring this in really tight we're going to show you how that's done say with the belt for example but this dress has got maximum ways of wearing it because the idea again is to make the most of everything you've got and to really make it work really hard for you summer can just be brought to life by wearing it in this way especially when you're toning up the colours so this sort of biker style jacket could also be a leather jacket and by simply sort of rolling up the sleeves either sort of physically like this or pushing up the sleeve in this way showing a little bit of the dress cuff just gives it that little bit of style so now what we've done is put on an oversized jumper and the big word this season being oversized as well whether it's an oversized jacket or an oversized jumper throw it on at the top of that dress bring out the little detail of the cuff and the collar and you've got a completely different look. Welcome back Jane. So now this is the dress split up, this is the skirt. 
Um, and now we've swapped it for a white shirt with this lovely sort of, you know, tank toppy sort of oversized jumper, which I think is really super cool and really ready for jeans and trousers mm, really and ev comfy, everything yeah. as well. But by changing the footwear, it's amazing what else you can do. You just change things up and it looks like a completely different outfit. Mm, and yeah. now instead of bringing out the grey, we're starting to work on the taupey colours as well. So it sort of allows you to have three or four colours to be able to wear this particular skirt. So I think that's a, a real useful look isn't it? There's lots Very of occasions nice, yeah. that yeah. you feel you could wear something like that. Hi Kate, Hi. Um, now this is the beautiful brown, it's such a lot of this colour this season in all sorts of things. Um, it's an alternative to black, it sort of goes with everything, you can really team it up with the typical autumn colours but you can also play around with pale pink, pale blue, you know you don't have to treat it as a sort of a, an autumn colour. It's lovely on you and it's a nice comfortable easy dress to wear. Whether you style it up with you know high shoes and, and Again, it could be an event dress, or whether you make it more casual by adding, you know, a fur coat. Um, how that could work for the races again. Scarves are always useful to have. This is a particularly beautiful one, multiple tones, just proving really just how many different colours you can use to pick up this dress. And so, by using a scarf, whether it's a belt or you know, in the traditional way, you can sort of just play about really, um, using things to sort of exaggerate waists. I think you know when you've got a good waist show it off so you know there's ways of using uh, scarves that way but also you can use it in, a, in, in your hair or, um, so yeah color wise I would say Kate really works with these sort of rich tones um, you can see how, how it changes things up and moves the color around in Monmouth. We are a specialist lingerie fitting shop and today I'm going to do a quick demo of how your bra should look and feel if it's fitting correctly and for that Kitty is going to be my lovely model. The most important part of your bra is the underband. This is the bit around your rib cage. This is your 32, 34, 36 part of the bra. Uh, this is where all the support comes from. So it should be firm and sit horizontal all the way along around the body. So if we have a look at the bra that Kitty is wearing here, if she turns around, we can see that it is rising up at the back here, whereas it should sit in a horizontal line. So the rising up indicates to us that it's too slack in the back and it's not giving her enough support because what goes up in the back will come down in the front. If we have a little look at the front of this bra, we can see that it is not sitting in against the breastbone in the center. These wires here should sit right in and sit flush against the breastbone. So we can see that this is not right here. If we look under the arm here, this wire here is sat on her breast tissue. The wire should come right back and sit onto the rib cage here. 
So we need a much deeper wire to come round under here onto the rib cage, and all of this breast tissue here should be fully encased in the cup. So if she just does a quick turn, we'll have a look at the points. So the bra is too slack because it's riding up at the back where she's put the straps up to try and give her some lift. All it's done is pull the back of the bra up and as she carries on round, we can see here she's got no lift and support at the front. It's not sitting in in the middle here. She's got breast tissue spilling out of the top of the cup and also out from the sides here. So what we're going to do now is she's going to put on a bra that fits correctly and hopefully you'll all be able to see the difference. So now we can see that Kitty has the same bra on but in a totally different size. We're going to start by looking around the back. It's now sitting in a horizontal line all the way around the body. This is giving her nice firm support. Although she's got the straps up to give her a bit of lift, it's not pulling the back of the bra up. So it's nice and firm. I can still get my fingers in there and pull it away, but it's not slack and riding up. It's giving her all the support that she needs. So then if we have a look at the front of the bra, we can see here that the wires are now sitting right in against the breastbone and separating her breast in the center here. And they're coming right round under the arm right back here onto the rib cage. So when I press the wire now, it's nice and firm and on the rib cage and all of her breast tissue is fully encased here and across the top. So we can see now that she's fully supported and lifted and it's a nice, good, firm fit and it's giving her all the support that she needs. But we will just see now that if we try her with her top on, this particular bra is probably a little bit full in the cup for Kitty. So we can see now that there's quite a lot of bra exposed. So even though it's a really great fit, it's a really great style, um, it's just not quite suiting her shape because um, she needs something a little bit more plungy and a little bit briefer. So now we're going to show you a bra that would be more suited to Kitty's shape and Kitty's style. So we can see now that Kitty has a different bra on. She's got a lovely shape and she's lifted and supported under her top, but you can no longer see um, the bra here because we've gone for a plunge style. So she's going to take the top off now and we're going to have a little look at the bra that she's wearing now. So we can see now that it's still a really great fit. It's sitting in against the breastbone in the center here and it's coming right round under her arm. Her bust is fully supported and lifted but it's just a slightly lower cut which is more suitable uh, for Kitty and Kitty style. So as you can see from the fitting demonstration we just did on Kitty that not every bra will suit every person so therefore there are lots of different styles and lots of different shapes. We stock from an A cup right through to a K cup and from a 28 back to a 44 back. So there's a huge size range, but it's not just about the size, it's also about the shape. This is one of our absolute best sellers. This is the Prima Donna Deauville. This is a full cup, which means it gives you really full coverage over your bust. It's really great if you um, have a heavy bust and you want lots of support and lots of coverage. However, some people will find that this is too full and they get space in the top of the cup here. So therefore they would need to go for something a little bit shallower in the cup. So this bra is not quite so full in the cup. It's a more straight across cut with a wider set strap. It still has the four pieces in the cup. And the most important part of these bras is this extra panel down the side. This is called a side support. So the bras will lift and separate, but if they have this piece down the side, they will also forward project, which makes you look slightly narrower um, face on. Another style is the plunge bra. Now a lot of ladies find that the deeper wires are too deep or they dig in, so therefore you would go for a lower wire that sits lower into the center here and doesn't dig in against the bone in the center. And then we also have lots of t-shirt bras. This is a really iconic style. This is the Marie Jo Avero with the daisy straps and the checkerboard cup. Really popular, gives a lovely smooth t-shirt bra style shape. However, some people don't like a molded bra but don't want any seams. So therefore, this is one of our top sellers. This is the Wacol Halo. It's a really smooth effect over the cup uh, but no seaming at all. So if you're wearing a sweater or a t-shirt you don't get any lines and then you've just got what we'd call a classic t-shirt bra which is a totally plain molded cup which would disappear under any top. One of our best selling styles in the shop is the um, Chantal one size pants. They're just going to show you these because they are a stretch to fit one size. They come in lots of different styles, thongs, full briefs, midi briefs, high leg and they stretch out and fit from a size 6 to a 16 and then a separate one that is 16 plus. They're no VPL, super comfortable and they come in millions of colours so you can always find a pair to match the bra you're buying.
My name's Gracie and I'm the lead artist for Charlotte Tilbury in Cheltenham John Lewis and I'm here to do a quick tutorial today on getting that gorgeous glowing Charlotte Tilbury skin, fluffy brows, gorgeous glowing cheeks and the perfect pal. So to start I prep my skin with Charlotte's Magic Serum and Magic Cream. I would never do my own or a client's makeup without these two magical products. It's going to give you that perfect plump gorgeous glowy canvas to work on and it gives the most amazing makeup application ready for you to start. What I've also used is Charlotte's incredible airbrush flawless foundation which gives you 15 hour wear. It's got an air cool technology so it lasts all day. It's matte but not flat so you can see I've got a lovely glow to my skin but the most amazing coverage. And Charlotte's Magic Away Concealer and I've literally just gone around the eye and any little red areas on the skin and it's a perfect prep for when I do my eyeshadow as well. Next I'm going to set and perfect my makeup with one of my most favourite products. I have this in my makeup bag and my makeup kit in every single colour. So this is Charlotte's Airbrush Powder. It's infused with rose wax and almond oil and it's going to really soften and blur imperfections and pores. Now a lot of ladies ask me if they should wear a powder if their skin is dry or mature and the answer is with this powder absolutely. It's super hydrating, it's so finely milled it almost feels like a creamy texture. So I'm literally just going to go and set any areas that I don't want any shine which is between the brow bone and then these little triangles just around the nose and where the cheek is. Can you see that's instantly smoothed that away? So that's the airbrush powder, and today I'm using shade two. Okay, so next on the agenda, something that a lot of ladies tell me they're very scared of, and it is contouring, or what we call at Charlotte Tilbury, sculpting the skin. So I'm gonna use Charlotte's Film Star Bronze and Glow, which literally is the most easy product to use when you wanna do some sculpting or contouring. So you've got your bronzer and you've got your highlighter and we're literally going to shade and shape the perimeters of the face literally in a big number three. So I'm going to start with bronzer first. It's a really cool tone bronzer so you can literally build to your desired colour and what you're going to do is start from the forehead. So you're going to warm around the forehead and the temples and this will instantly make the skin look really like sun kissed because that's where the sun would naturally hit the skin anyway. And I'm going to continue blending that through around the temples and then we're going to go into the cheekbones so you want to do like that, find the cheekbone, follow the hollow and create that gorgeous lifted cheekbone. Like I said, that really large number three and then do the same thing just along the jawline as well and you can instantly see how that's given me shape compared to the other side. So I'm just going to very quickly move on to how to map your brows. So what you want to do to find where your brow should start and finish is line the front of the brow with the corner of the eye and corner of the nose do a dot, then you're going to move to the corner of the eye and the corner of the nose and do a dot and then if you look directly into the mirror through the centre of your pupil and the corner of the nose that is where your arch should be and you can quite simply just join them up where the points are, drag the pencil out and then what we like to do at Tilbury it's called like a fluffy supermodel brow so we would literally do lots of little hair strokes creating a fuller, more natural lifted brow. The pencils are super easy to use because they just grab to the hairs and not necessarily the skin so you don't get that drawn on brow. And then once you've got that lovely fluffy look, you just get your little spoolie and then you can brush those brows into place. I'm just gonna finish this really gorgeous glowing look with a couple of products from Charlotte's iconic Pillow Talk family. So I'm gonna take the pop shade from the Pillow Talk palette and I'm gonna use my finger to simply pop some sparkle across the lid of my eye. We've just launched the new Pillow Talk Mascara. As you can see, my lashes are super pushed up and I'm using that, which I love. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Pillow Talk Blusher. So, swish, smile, and pop to give those apples a little bit more color. Again, a really universally flattering shade. We also do um, the intense range for Pillow Talk if you are slightly darker in your skin tone which is amazing and then pillow talk collagen lip bar so this actually has marine collagen so this is going to instantly plump the lips and hydrate and look how glossy that is so that is a really quick five minute dialed up pillow talk look and i hope you enjoyed it
staff and I am a professional organiser. So just a little bit of background about what I do. I help um, clients and that uh, can be privately and commercially um, organise and declutter their spaces. Uh, so that can be physically, digitally and mentally as well. So seeing as this evening is all about fashion and fizz, I thought that I would share some of my top tips with you for decluttering and organising your wardrobes and a little bit of clothes care as well. So hopefully by now you've all watched the fashion show and Michelle's probably gone through some styling tips with you. So then that should help you now understand what it is that you want to keep in your wardrobe. So the way that I would declutter would be to put all of your clothes out into categories. So put your tops and your trousers and, and each category like that, and then make separate piles when you're going through the items, whether you want to keep sell or donate. So now that you've gone through and decluttered, you're now left with the items that you're going to keep. So what you need to do now is you need to look at the storage space that you have and try and work out how you're going to organise it. Um, obviously everybody's houses are different, so some of you might have lots of hanging space, some of you might have more drawers. So I actually don't have um, much in the way of drawer storage, so everything's hung up, even my scarves. So I use these types of hangers here. They're metal, they're nice and thin. They don't take up too much space in the wardrobe. I'll show you a couple of others. This is show and tell. So these are the ones that I would use for my suit jackets, 
and I even actually use these for my knitted tops because they've got such a slope on the shoulders they don't pucker so they're fab and also I use these for um, skirts and shorts as well. I thought I would uh, cover this off because there is a handbag auction this evening. So I actually make handbag pillows. So the reason why I do this is because it keeps the handbags nice and bulky and it doesn't ruin the leather. So I'll show you one that I made earlier. And there you go. So it just plumps up the bag, it keeps the shape and it makes them last for longer. One thing I wanted to touch on quickly was clothes care. So obviously we're changing through the seasons now. So if some of you don't have enough room to keep all of your seasons out, then some of it will be packed away. So you need to make sure that those items are stored correctly. So the three things that I um, use are uh, cedar bags and uh, homemade lavender bags. And I also use uh, charcoal moisture bags. So what they do is they absorb any moisture that could possibly be in the container that you're storing your summer clothes away in. And they actually last for about five years and you can just put them out in the sunshine um, and they're just kind of reactivated um, using the sunlight. I actually get mine from Lakelands. Lastly, but most importantly, is what you're now going to do with your unwanted items. So well, this is one of the reasons why I absolutely love my job is because the client's left with a beautifully organised home and I am then taking away the unwanted items which are donated to charity. So Hope for Tomorrow are collecting clothes. If you contact them, they'll let you know where you can drop them off. But the other things that you can do is you can sell them on auction sites like eBay and you can actually donate, so well, you can actually select on there to donate a percentage to Hope for Tomorrow or you can donate the full amount. And I think that's a lovely thing to think about your unwanted items, that they're gonna go on to have an impact on somebody else's life and raise vital funds for charities like Hope for Tomorrow. So that's just a little snippet into what I do and how to organize your wardrobes and what to do with your unwanted items. I hope you all have a lovely evening, enjoy bidding on the handbags and raise as much money as we can. I'm Hannah, I'm the head of fundraising at Hope for Tomorrow and obviously a part-time wannabe model. Um, just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you for logging in tonight. I know it's still really, really strange. We would have absolutely loved to have everybody in a room together celebrating fashion fizz and the amazing work Hope for Tomorrow does, but unfortunately we couldn't do that. So thank you so much for logging on and being part of it tonight. Massive thank you as well to all of our sponsors and retailers um, who've taken part tonight. Really excitingly, Bodega have offered to make 10% donation of all sales to Hope for Tomorrow. Any, any sale made in till the end of October, they will donate 10% back to us, which is really, really exciting. So go shop, shop, shop. And Hearts of Monmouth and Jessica Anstey have really um, kindly offered 10% discount to all Fashion and Fizz guests. So absolutely, let's go shop. 
Obviously we're all here for one reason tonight um, and that's to support Hope for Tomorrow. We really, really appreciate the tickets that you've bought. Um, the five pounds that you've donated towards your tickets can easily support cancer patients to receive treatment on board one of our units. I cannot stress how important that is and that's why I'm really gonna ask you to donate again. Um, I'm sure you will have seen the fantastic handbags that we've got in our um, handbag auction. So please go and bid on one of those. There's a few I've certainly got my eye on. So I'll be um, bidding against you, I'm sure. Um, if you do want to make a donation, there's a donation button on your screen, so you can do that. And another way to support us, which is vital, is regular giving. Regular giving just makes sure that we know what money is coming in um, so that we can keep the wheels turning um, and we can be there for cancer patients when they need us. So please, I really hope that you've had a fantastic night. And if you can, bid, donate, and have a great night. Thank you so much. Shout hallelujah from the date of the night Everything is gonna be alright Shout hallelujah from the date of the night We have had to change our plans today. <laughs> We've had to change our plans today. Just giggling though, sorry, I'm like a child, sorry. It's got us an opportunity to cinch the way. Cinch. <laughs> cinch the most. So we have to right. do the whole thing again. Yeah. The whole thing. The whole you whole just thing. one sentence. Have their cancer. What is it? It's a blood treatment, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is a blood treatment. I know it's a blood treatment. <laughs> I wrote the bloody thing. <laughs> Um, just exposes just that little bit of cuff from the, sh from the, from the, sh um, what do you call it? <laughs> I can say that because I'm here at the hot, at the hot, <laughs> <laughs> I can say that because I'm at the hotel, the Hatton Court Hotel in Gloucester. Can I just check? Is it the Hatton Court Hotel or the Bowdoin Hotel? Bowdoin, oh, bloody hell, yes, Bowdoin. <laughs> I can say that because I'm at the Hatton Court Hotel today. No, no, no I'm not at the Hatton <laughs> Court Hotel. <laughs>